to our delegate from the state of California. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for the privilege you've accorded to me to say just a word in explaining the vote of the state of California. I'll make it loud enough. Don't worry about that. California came here to nominate a president of the United States. She did not come here to deadlock this convention. When any man comes into this convention with 700 votes in his favor, I take it as indicative of the public sentiment of the country for that candidate. He's entitled to the nomination. Total votes cast, 1148 and one half. Necessary to a choice, 766. Franklin D. Roosevelt, having received more than two thirds of all the delegates voting, I proclaim him the nominee of this convention for President of the United States. The Honorable Bruce Campbell, a delegate from the state of Illinois. Which I now avail myself enthusiastically and happily, not only personally, but on behalf of the democratic state of Illinois, to second the nomination for the office of Vice President of Honorable John N. Bunner of Texas. I thank you. It is my pleasing duty as the chairman of this National Democratic Convention and its committee, specially designated for that purpose, formally to notify you of your nomination by it on yesterday for the office of President of the United States. Chairman Walt, my friends, of the Democratic National Convention of 1932. I appreciate your willingness after these six arduous days to remain here, for I know well the sleepless hours which you and I have had. I have started out on the tasks that lie ahead by breaking the absurd tradition that the candidate should remain in professed ignorance of what has happened for weeks until he is formally notified of that event many weeks later. You have nominated me, and I know it, and I am here to thank you for the honor. Let it also be symbolic that in so doing, I broke traditions. Let it be from now on the task of our party to break foolish traditions. We will break foolish traditions and leave it to the Republican leadership, far more skilled in that art, to break promises convention wants repeal. Your candidate wants repeal.
And I am confident that the United States of America wants repeal. I say to you now that from this date on, the 18th Amendment is doomed. I pledge myself to a new deal for the American people. Give me your help not to win votes alone, but to win in this crusade to restore America to its own people. <laughs>